praise the Lord, praise the Lord. Good evening and thank you. I just want to welcome each and every one of you for being here one more evening in our nightly Bible study here at I Am Reunion. My name is Dr. PJ and I just want to pray and say, Father God, thank you. Thank you for all of my brothers and sisters from around the world that are listening to this nightly Bible studies. I want to thank Pastor Dale S. Jr. for allowing me to use this platform one more time. And again, bless them, Lord, body, spirit, and soul with wisdom, knowledge, and understanding in your word. Touch their heart. Let your spirit, Lord, your Holy Spirit, penetrate and remove any evil from them. In Jesus' mighty name, I pray. Amen. And this evening, we're going to be teaching about the book of Ezekiel and how God showed the prophet the wickedness that was taking place in the church. There's a lot of evil in our churches today. A lot of people don't want to go to church anymore because they hear all these wicked things that are happening. We have a satanic cult inside of the Christian church. We have the satanic pastors and we have satanic people that are leaders in the church. So with this teaching is named the part one, the wicked abominations. These are abom abominations that God exposed that took place back then but are still happening today. Because the heart of man, the word of God say, in I think in Jeremiah 17, the heart of man is wicked. It's evil and des desperately wicked. Amen? And you can correct me if I'm wrong. And I'm going to go ahead and rewind and start this teachings. It's pre-recorded, dated 2013. Amen. Be blessed and be encouraged. Thank you. We give you praise. We give you honor. God and Jesus is good. 
Oh, Father God, God, and Jesus is greater. You are greater than my problem. You are greater than my situation. You are greater than my circumstance. You are greater than my obstacles. You are greater than the evil in this world. You are greater. You are greater. God is greater. God is greater. Jesus is greater. God is greater. And Jesus is greater. They are greater than the world. They are greater than the illness. They are greater than the poverty. They are greater than the unemployment. They are greater than the homelessness. They are greater. God and Jesus is greater. Believe in them. Believe in Father. Believe in His only begotten Son. Believe in the power of His Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit of God is His intellect. Where He gives command. He sent out the Holy Spirit to aid us. To aid us, to save us, to, 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 to help us, to deliver us. All so thanks to the, the, the Spirit of God, is the Spirit of truth, the only truth, the Spirit of knowledge, the Spirit of healing, with the gifts of the Holy Spirit. We will move forward. God is greater. Jesus is greater. God and Jesus is greater than me. God is greater. Jesus is greater, God and Jesus is greater than me. He is greater than my problems. He is greater than my weakness. He is greater. God is greater. Jesus is greater than all of my problems. God is greater. Jesus is greater. God is of my suffering. You see, when you love the Lord, when you love the Lord, when you live right, when you talk right, when you walk right, expect. You must expect battles. You must expect a spiritual warfare. You must expect the enemy will try to roadblock you. The enemy gonna try. You gonna be tested by fire. You're going to be tested beyond measure. I say, whatever you're doing, whatever you're doing for the Lord, whatever you're living, you're living right. You're, you're, you're trying to, to be a light in this world of darkness. Believe me that the enemy is going to be angry at you. Or oh, the enemy is angry at me, but that's all right. I say, it's all right. It's all right. My Lord Jesus say, it's all right. No weapon that is formed against me shall prosper. No weapon that is formed against you shall prosper. You see, the Lord says that the weapon will be formed. The enemy is going to go on assignment and form all kind of ways to destroy your life, to bring obstacles, to bring roadblocks, to put people against you, to come up with all kind of problems, even in your home, your parents, your, you know, your children, you know, the neighbors, everybody will stop turning against you. But you know what? God is greater. Jesus is greater. God is greater than all of the enemies. God is greater. Jesus is greater. God is greater than all of my problems. I said the Lord is good. I said the Lord is good. I said the Lord is good. Come taste and taste. Taste, you see, we have to go through. When we give God glory that we go through. Yesterday was a day of battle for me, an obstacle. I got on the prayer line for 10 minutes. I couldn't stay on the prayer line. And I said, Lord, help me, Lord. But I got to come off of this prayer line in order to complete a task. I have to complete a task. And the enemy usually try to roadblock me from going on this prayer line and from teaching the truth. The enemy will try to, the enemy will try to roadblock me, keep me from preaching the truth. Or when I preach the last two, the last two sermons, the last three sermons, the Jezebel spirit, the Jezebel doctrine, and the false church, it set people on fire. People are saying, my God, they can see the Jezebel spirit. They understand the Jezebel doctrine. And they say that I must be open to the false church, to the Luciferian church and the things that are happening inside of the church. So the enemy didn't want those three last sermons to come out. But it came out because of the glory of God, because of the power of the Holy Spirit. So ain't nobody mad about the devil. 
condition in our body, sickness and disease, cancer of cells, every cell that is negative, attacking our body right now as we stand here praying, Father God. Oh, Father God, cleanse our bodies from all sickness, disease. Cleanse it, Father God, from generic disorders, from chemical imbalance, every organ, Father God. I command every organ to function according to the divine order of creation of Almighty God. Begin to function right now. Begin to function from head to toe. Begin to function every cell, every membrane, every chemical, every organ in the body. Begin to function. Begin to function in my children, in my grandchildren, in my whole behold. Begin to function. Anybody in your family is sick. Any sickness in your body, command it to function properly. I command you to function according to the divine order of creation of Almighty Father. He set it into existence. So we speak healing now in existence. Hey Lord, speak the word of healing. Speak the word of healing. Heal him. Heal him my life more. Heal every area. Heal my finances more. Heal my command my finances to be healed. Heal I command prosperity to overpower me, overtake me, and take over my life. Prosperity. Take over right now in the name of Jesus. Take over. 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 Prosperity. Help. 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 Health, health and peace. Please, I command you to take over my life. My children life, my grandchildren life, my husband. Please, 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 please take over my life. Take over right now. Take over. Let the peace of God reign. Reign in your home, in your life, in your business, everywhere you go. Take over. Take over. Take over. Take over. Take over. I declare wisdom. Wisdom, I speak wisdom into you. Wisdom. Take over my mind, my body, my spirit, and my soul. Wisdom of God. Let the wisdom of God, with the wisdom of Almighty God in the blood of Jesus, take over my life right now. Let the wisdom of God penetrate, penetrate my brain matter, penetrate every, every, every cell, penetrate my spirit, my soul. Let the wisdom of God and the knowledge of God enter, 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 enter. Give me understanding in your word, oh Lord. Enter, enter, enter into my mind, my spirit, enter into my brain, enter into my mind, my spirit, and my soul. Let the word of God, the wisdom of God, the knowledge of God, the understanding of the word, enter and penetrate, penetrate in my mind. Enter right now, God spoke it into existence. I commanded the wisdom of God to enter into my life, to take over my life, to overpower my life. The wisdom of God, the wisdom of knowledge, the wisdom of truth, the wisdom of understanding in the word of God. On the Power of the Holy Spirit, take over my life right now. Take over, overpower me, penetrate right now. Cleanse and overpower me right now. Oh, boy, take a board in me right now. Come in and do it. Great as you that need a peace in the world. Come in and do it. Walk with me. Talk to me. Give me counsel. Give me God counsel. Give me spiritual counsel. Counsel of truth. Counsel of knowledge. Counsel of wisdom. Give me understanding. Give me spiritual eyes like I will see. Spiritual eyes that like I will see beyond the word. Spiritual eyes, spiritual ears to ears, spirit of obedience, spirit of truth, spirit of knowledge, of healing, spirit of teaching, spirit of overpowering, spirit of discernment. Oh, Father God, teach me how to roar. Make me a warrior. Make me a warrior out of heaven. Open up in the name of Jesus. I pour out your spiritual warfare and the weapons of warfare. Father, give me the weapons of warfare. Give me the weapons of warfare. Pour out weapons of warfare upon my mind, my body, my spirit, and my soul. Pour out the weapons of warfare. The weapons of warfare are not carnal. Spiritual, the weapons of a warfare are not calm, but mighty through God to pull it down as a stronghold. Pull it down, oh Lord. Pull down the stronghold, oh Lord. Pull it down right now in our lives. Pull down the stronghold. Pull down, pull it down. Every evil yoke of darkness, every evil stronghold of darkness, every chain of darkness, break, break right now. Break right now in the name of Jesus. Break, break and release my mind. Break and release my soul. Break it right now. Break it. Break every chain of darkness. Break, break it right now. Break it right now. Break every chain of darkness. Every chain of, 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 of darkness that bind me. I'm binding. I'm binding. I'm binding. Every spirit of darkness. Spirit of the wolf. Spirit of the dog. Spirit of the night season. Spirit of divination. Spirit of the Oh, satanic altar. Pledges that you made in your life in college. Break it on. Break it release of the satanic altar. Break it. Break it. Break it. Break it. I'm going to break it with satanic contract written in darkness. Break it, break it, break it. Every satanic liturgy, every evil church that I join, every evil church that I sign my name to, every evil time.
my offering that I gave to any evil, every evil which is society, fraternity, in my life that I follow God. Pray to release me. Pray to release me from the power of darkness. Pray to release me from evil lodges, from surroundings, evil fraternity. Pray to release my life. Pray to release my mind. Pray to release me from the warlocks, from the evil, from the warlocks, from the evil cages, from the evil box. Pray to release me in Jesus' mighty name. I say he can do it. I say God. God is so merciful, He is merciful, He is mercy. To God be the glory, great things He has done. With His love, He loves you. I say, with His love, He protects me. With His love, He guides me. With His love, He keeps me. I say, to God be the glory. Great things He has done. With His love, He's able. I said, the Lord is able. He is able to keep you. He is able to keep you from the destroyer. He is able to save us from the end time battle. These battles that we're going through right now. He is able to save us from all curses, from all wicked curses. Oh, yes, He is able. I say, He is able. He is able. He is able. We sing praises. We sing praises to your name. We give you the thanks and the glory because we know who you are. I say, know your God. Get to know Jesus. Get to build up yourself with Jesus. Build, build a personal relationship with God. He is the way, the truth, and the life. No man come to the Father except he come through Jesus. Oh, thank you, Lord, for your blessings. Oh, thank you for your kindness and your loving kindness and your mercy. Oh, thank you, Lord. Oh, thank you. Oh, thank you, Lord. Oh, thank you, Lord. Oh, thank you, Lord. Let the Redeemer of the Lord say amen. Let the Redeemer of the Lord say amen. Let the Redeemer of the Lord give thanks and glory. Let the Redeemer of the Lord rejoice. Let the Redeemer of the Lord say, yes, Lord, is me. Let the Redeemer of the Lord say, thank you, Lord. Let the Redeemer of the Lord, you are the Redeemer of the Lord. We are his Redeemer. He has redeemed us from Calvary. He redeemed us from a failure against basis. He has redeemed us from the power of darkness. He has redeemed us from sin. He has redeemed us from sickness and disease, from chronic diseases, from cancer, from pollution. He has redeemed us from car accidents, from evil spirits. He has redeemed us. He has redeemed our lives. He is our redeemer. You are no my redeemer lives. I know my redeemer lives. He is able to redeem you. He has redeemed us. He has redeemed us one more time. He has redeemed us one more time from the power of evil, from the power of darkness. He has redeemed us over and over. He is our redeemer. I know my redeemer lives. I know I know my Redeemer lives. 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 Hallelujah. 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 Praise His holy name. I know I praise His holy name. He is able. He is able to keep you from falling. Father God, touch each and every one of us right now. As we humble ourselves unto you, O Lord, in this daily prayers, as we submit ourselves, Father God, send your food, send your spiritual bread, send, send your anointing, send your anointing right now. Send your anointing to us, Father God. Lift our spirits up. Lift our minds up to a higher level. Oh, put me on a higher ground. Put me, place my feet on a higher ground. In the spiritual realm, place my feet on a higher ground. Place my mind on a higher ground. Place me on a higher ground. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father, in the name of Jesus. Place me on a higher ground. Oh, place me on a higher ground. Ground. I want to be on a higher ground. I want to move up to another level. Give me, open up my eyes so I can see in the spiritual realm your word of truth and knowledge, uh, your word of anointing, discerning spirit, uh, so I can know, so I can empower myself. Teach me your word, O oh Lord. Teach me today. Teach me, grant me, Lord. Grant me the gift of the Holy Spirit. Uh. Grant me the gift of the Holy Spirit. Uh. Grant it to me today. Grant it to me today. Lift up, lift up, lift up, lift me up, lift me up, lift me up, lift me up in Jesus' mighty name I pray. In Jesus' mighty name I pray. 
Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Send down fire. The Holy Spirit fire. Send down fire, Remy. The Holy Spirit fire. Send down healing. The Holy Spirit healing. Send down healing in. The Holy Spirit healing. Send down blessing. The Holy Spirit blessing. Send down blessing again. The Holy Spirit blessing. Send down blessing. Send down fire. The Holy Spirit fire. Send down fire in me. The Holy Spirit fire. Send down healing. Peace of mind. The Holy Spirit healing. Send down healing in me. The Holy Spirit healing. Thank you, Lord, today as we enter to this Bible study today. Father God, bless each and every one of them with knowledge as we expose all the hidden secrets of this end time satanic doctrine of the Luciferian doctrine in our churches. We're going to expose them, this Luciferian doctrine that is taught in the churches. We're going to be exposing all types of schism and schism that they've been doing from ancient and ancient and ancient times. The rebellion against God, the rebellious children of God, <coughs> the fallen angels, and the children that are well alive today, the children of Satan, the children of Lucifer, that evil seed, that serpent seed of Lucifer, that is in the world today. We're going to expose through the word of God all the satanic teachings that were done in the, in the days of old. Our Father God, we ask you to bless your word today. And we thank you, Lord. Open up our spiritual mind, our spiritual soul, our spiritual mind, everything to be opened up in the word of God to receive the truth. Ezekiel chapter 8 today. Today we're going to study from the book of Ezekiel. And in the book of Ezekiel, we're going to go forward and begin. And it came to pass in the sixth year, in the sixth month, in the sixth day of the month, as I sat in my house, and the elders of Judah sat before me, that the hand of the Lord God fell dear upon me. Are we talking about the prophet Ezekiel, the prophet of God, had a meeting. He met with the leaders, with the leaders of Judah, of the tribe of Judah. Because Judah, Jews mean only one tribe, brother Judah. Jacob had 12 sons and one daughter. Dinah was her name. She was raped and went into mental illness, depression. And never came back. And they brother said she never came back. She never came out. But the twelve patriarchs, the twelve sons of, 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 of Jacob, make up the twelve tribes. And one of his sons' name was Judah. And Judah is the kingship. Where well, all the kings and the princesses and the lion of Judah, the king of king, the Lord, the king of king, come out of there, which is Jesus, out of the root of David. So he fell into something like a church, but it was a spiritual, the, 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 the hand of God, the Holy Spirit of God, and the And while he was sitting there, this is what he saw. God opened up his spiritual eyes. And the prophet Ezekiel said, then, verse 2, Then I beheld a law, 
a likeness of the appearance of fire. From the appearance of his names, even God was fire. And from his lines, even upward, as the appearance of brightness, as the color of amber, like brass. And he put forth the form of an hand, and took me by a lock of my head, and the spirit lifted me up between the earth and the heaven and brought me into the visions of God to Jerusalem to the door of the inner gate that looked toward the north where was the seat of the image of jealousy which provoke to jealousy. And we see that today. We see that we always must remember that God is a consuming fire. And that we serve a God that answered by fire. The burning was that appeared to in, in the wilderness to Moses. We see we sought a God that utilized fire. He utilized the fire to destroy our enemy. He used the fire to destroy the before the prophets of Baal. The consuming fire of God, the Holy Spirit fire that plays, the power of the Holy Spirit that burns, giving truly deliverance and is contending with witches. When I lift up my right hand and I say, Holy Spirit fire, the witches say, I feel it burn. If I say, oh, you are burning, I'm burning. The they cry out for mercy. With this invisible, this spiritual fire of God that comes down from heaven and burn witches spiritually. And witches fall down on the floor and burn and scream and say, Stop the fire, fire, fire. And they will burn and say they're burning. And they need the fire to stop burning. And we found out that God opened up the spiritual eyes and showed Prophet Ezekiel a vision in Jerusalem of things to come in the future and things that were happening at that time. In verse 4 it says, And the whole glory of God of Israel was there according to the vision that I saw in the plain. While sitting, facing the elders of Judah, this is counsel to the leaders of the nation, the prophets that God sent to the king and the priests, the elders of Judah, answered by fire. He saw fire. Because we serve a God that answers by fire. And in verse 5 it says, Then said he unto me, Son of man, lift up the light now to the way toward the north. So I lift up my eyes, the way toward the north. And the whole north wall at the gate of the altar, this image of jealousy in the entry. And we must remember that God said his word, I am a jealous God, bringing upon the children the iniquity down to the third and the fourth generation. That's in the book of Exodus chapter 1. Exodus 
Exodus 21. You shall have no other God before me. So we know he is a jealous God because he does not want us to share our affection, our worship, our praise with no other God but him. He is a jealous God and he takes vengeance upon nations. Psalm number 9, you can read it. Upon cities, upon countries that forget God, they turn into hell. Ichabod. Ichabod is what happened when the two sons of the prophet defied the temple. And when the prophet died, the maiden said, Ichabod, the Spirit of God has left us. He said, Follow unto me, son of man. See as though what they do. And I want you to open up your spiritual eyes because the same practice has been done today in your church. God is exposing the hidden secrets of the priesthood at that time. And this is what the priesthood was doing. Even the great abomination that the house of Israel committed. And who is the house of Israel? The house of Israel make up the other 11 tribes. The house of Israel committed here. That I should not go so out from my sanctuary. Right in the sanctuary. Right inside the oldest of the most holy. But can be. Yet again. And thou shall see the greater abomination. Can your spiritual eyes see the abominations that are taking place today? Just look at your favorite preachers and you see their name all mixed up in the news and lawsuits and settlements, being arrested, handcuffed, and from a scrutiny and a boat of fear and satanic worship. Just look at your spiritual leaders in this nation. Verse 7. And he brought me to the door of the court. And when I look the hole, a hole in the wall, he said to expose some truth to you. He said to expose some truth to the prophet of Ezekiel. Then said he unto me, Son of man, dig now in the wall. And when I dig in the wall, the hole a door. And he said unto me, Go in. And behold, the wicked, this is what you want to emphasize, the wicked abominations that they do here in the church, in the sanctuary, in what we call the Christian church today, the man of our Lord, of the Romanos, the Roman Catholic, the 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 the, the, the that she has done, how Jezebel Church, the Jezebelites, you see Jezebel is the enemy of Christianity. Jezebel hates the Christians. We cannot be friends with the devil. We cannot take communion with the devil. We cannot listen to the devil. We cannot do praise and worship with the devil anymore. God is telling you this is what he is exposing to us in that day. He exposed it to Ezekiel and he exposed it to us today. That the same God yesterday is the same God today and forevermore. And that heaven and earth will pass away, but not one just have this word. Because his word is a fresh. Each time we read it, his word, his truth, each time we study the word of God, we get a new revelation. We get a new revelation. 
because we prophesied in part, and we preached in part, we had a new revelation. Wicked abomination. Wicked satanic rituals. Ritualistic demonic worship. Affiliated. Joined together with evil. And then bringing it into church. Preaching doctrines of devils and demons in the church. Verse 10. So I went in and saw, and behold, every form of creeping things. Anything that creeps is an abomination, is unclean. Snakes, scorpions, lizards, frogs, come on. Anything, iguanas, alligator, some of them eat alligator meat, snake meat. That's what they want to eat. They consume creeping, crawling things. An abominable beast. Bestiality, even having sex with beasts. And all idols of the house of Israel portrayed upon the wall and round about. And if you look at the Catholic religion, all what they have is skulls and bones of dead saints placed into the wall. And all around they have pictures and images of saints. They practice polytheism. They practice the worshiping of the saints and the calling of the saints. They say, when this one dies, this one is a saint. But I here to tell you today, that our God is monotheism, one God. There's no such thing as three gods, because God said, you shall have no other God before me, and the servant of Israel never thought, and God never appeared in three. There's one God, and his only begotten Son, for God so gave his word that he gave, loved this world, so he gave his only begotten Son, our Lord and Savior. And we have a comforter now. It is the Holy Spirit of Almighty Father. It is the Spirit of God that aid us and protect us and give us the impartation of the truth, knowledge, and understanding and the Holy Spirit gifts that we have listed in 1 Corinthians chapter 12. Read it for yourself. So we see today, the modern religion is telling you 400 gods. The Yoruba religion teaches you like you have 400 gods. And you must pray to God. And you have this God made out of glass, this God is nothing but people who are who live and have died. Like the saints in Santeria, the call in the Santa religion of Rome, of the Romanus, is Santeria. Santeria is a Italian word, but it was 42 souls before the slaves, for the Spanish slaves, for the British slaves. So they see the burning candles, rituals. Portion and lotion, and all these things were done right there in the sanctuary at that time in Israel. That's what they were doing. And God exposed what they were doing. All kinds of form of orgy, these charity, you got to do late, they got to do the thing, the free for once a year, all of this jingle gathering. You don't wear no underwear, you just wear a gown with a little open apron to cover your privacy part. They're doing the same thing, they worship Baal, Baal. They do all kinds of Baal and they worship the, 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 the evil idols. Satanic idols and many, many gods. But we are the children of God Almighty. We are the seed of Abraham. We worship only one God. His name is El Shaddai. Hallelujah. We worship only one God, Yahweh. Verse 11. And there stood before them seventy men of the ancients of the house of Israel. This is a different. Because the house of Israel is eleven tribes. The house of Judah is on the one tribe. But oh look, listen, that's what it says. Seventy men, ancients, elders, elders of the house of Israel, and in the midst of them stood Jezebaniah, the son of Shaphan, with every man, a censer in his hand and a sick crowd of incense, you know. There was burning satanic incense. 
They stood there and did rituals, and that's what they're doing today in a secret to fill the world. Your own pastors, your own spiritual leaders are part of these secret societies, and they teach you how to call and invoke upon satanic fallen angels. You watch those names that they're telling you to, to invoke when the evil gathering and run, come out from among them. Run! Resist the devil. Run! Run on if your soul. So they were doing this upon his worship. And God exposed it. God will expose truth in his world. God will expose the enemy's evil agenda. It's an evil assignment against your soul. Against your soul to destroy your soul. And you will expose it on this prayer line. Verse 12. Then said he unto me, Son of man, of those seen what the ancient, the elders of the house of Israel do in the dark? Now you understand what your pastor, your bishop is doing in the dark? When you see the little symbols stick on the hand of their car, and those little circles that they place here, you know they're satanic. Whether it be your spiritual doctor, your pastor, your medical doctor, you know and recognize them when they put them symbols on their car, when they wear certain symbols on their rings, on their fingers, okay, when they have certain chains with those, with those satanic symbols, their lodges they belong to, this is what they do. They do evil in the dark. And it can tell sexual ritual, even with their wives, who are sister girl, come on, sister girl, for the lady standing home, you are Eastern star, I know you. You know me, you know I'm not part of your bunch of these tents from above to expose your Jezebel order, your Jezebel spirit, and your Jezebel doctrine, doctrines of the devil. You brought up Jezebel, brought up Lucifer, I bind you in the name of Jesus. They said, every man in the chamber of his imagery. But they say, the Lord seeth us not. The Lord has forsaken the earth. And that's what many say. Look what's going on. God saw. God, God made evil. God made the devil wicked. How to explain? No. He made him, but he didn't tell him to go do evil. If you study Isaiah chapter 14, you will see how wicked Satan is. He got jealous. He wants to be God. He wants to be Jesus. So therefore he come and touch Jesus. And God has given you the spiritual code in the word of God. The number 666 is for every Christian to know that the Antichrist that comes first is false. He comes at the sixth trumpet, at the sixth Bible, and the sixth seal. That's where we get the 666. It's in the Bible. It's in the book of Revelation. There is a number of men, the six day creation, letting you know this is not the real McCoy. He is not the Savior. If you study the book of Revelation, chapter 2, verse 6, it will tell you how he is coming on a white horse. He has no title. He has nothing but he's coming with a bow, and that bow and that crown is the fish god crown that you see the Roman Catholic Church wear on her head, and the and the bow that he wears is that cross, and know the cross that is curved, the curved cross, letting you know that it's the Catholic Church who's gonna bring him into you, and he has a forerunner, is the last pope. He pretends he is John the Baptist, and you're going to see him go and say, conquer him to conquer. But if you read Revelation chapter 19, around verse 11, you will see the description at the seventh trump, at the seventh vial, at the seventh seal, the top seven is the number of God's spiritual completeness when our true Messiah Jesus brought Christ. Rock Christ appeared. He is appearing now. He's gonna beat them down with a rod of iron. He's gonna set everything straight. Are you going straight into the millennium? We are gonna be the millennium right here on earth. Who's gonna rule? Who's gonna rule all the nations? And all the ethnic queens, all the ethnic kings, that will be in charge of the whole nation right here for a thousand years. And after that. That wicked one named Lucifer is going to be let loose again because he got up to sift the wheat. He got to separate the wheat from the tears. And he's going to do some more cleansing, some more spiritual cleansing. 
There's going to be a lot of thunderstorms, and there's going to be all kind of plagues coming down upon the earth. Upon Revelation 16, you will read about the plagues of the end time. And when those plagues come, it will open up the door for many of them to repent, but the wicked will repent not. It says here, and he said also unto me, Turn thee yet again, and thou shalt see greater abominations that they do. This is going to get worse. The abomination is going to get worse. The evil is going to get worse upon this earth. You're going to see children killing children, children killing the whole parents. You're going to see right now they got a cartoon called Chizo. Chizo, that's S H T. Z-O is a transverse type cartoonist. It's a boy that, that, that had a transsexual sex. But he still has more half girl. And that is to, to introduce this to your children. So they have another religion just popped up. There's a religion about self. We will, I'm going to bring it to you tomorrow. All is about selfishness. Selfishness. And this is what God said in verse 14. Then he brought to me to the door of the Lord's, of the gate of the Lord's house. All of this is happening in church today, which was toward the north. And behold, there was a woman weaving a pamuse. You know who is pamuse? P A M M U. Just Google it. It is an idol. That the woman of Israel, the daughters of Abraham, Crying for an idol. Worshiping an idol. Worshiping something that is made out of stone, brass, glass. I say it is just a piece of wood. It has ears when it cannot hear. It has eyes when it cannot see. And that chalk is an open sepulchre. It's a grave. It's a grave image. So how do you worship with a grave image? I said, that man that you've been praying to, he ain't not by the devil. Don't listen to him. Don't follow him. Don't follow her. She is of the devil. She's a Jezebel. The daughter of Lucifer. Jezebel. Where our abominations and her portions and they look to mix up. Mix up and clean up stuff and then throw it on the floor and shoot and call and say, do the spiritual cleaning. Like they're cleaning so spiritually away. Giving you back some portion and pain with this, watch with this, do this here. Do this ritual, burn this, go oh, get this black candle, put it here, put a red candle, oh, get, get this, get this little crystal, hold it together, put it up here in the corner, do this, go oh, get this portion, mix this together, and knock your floor and bend with it. Daughters of Lucifer, I burn you by fire, I cast you down by fire, <clears throat> and we find out to you today, there's an abomination in the church. We are not an Indian, Indian and metaphysical teachings in the church. Telling you it's Christian yoga. Yoga is satanic, it's kundalini. It's teaching you all the bones and snakes on your spine. Just go on the internet and put kundalini. K-U-N-D-A-L-I-L-I. It is satanic. It comes from the Indian Ocean. It comes from Jezebel, the queen of the marine kingdom. It comes from Mama Waka. It comes from her husband. His name is Dagon. D-A-G-O-N. The whole. And they worship to the king and the queen. And he tell you a crown of his head. And that same crown is what they use in Rome. Because she says she has a husband. She's not a widow. She's married. That's what Jezebel said. It says 14. They worship Tammuz. What a shame. After the Lord had brought you over the, the Red Sea. 15. Then said to me unto me, Have thou seen this, O son of man? God, God speaking to his prophet. Turn yet me again, and thou shalt see a greater abomination than these. I tell you, it's going to get worse and worse in these churches. It's going to be a rapture doctrine. And they're going to get, someone sent me an email, oh, the rapture is coming in June of 2013. I said, when it comes, just let me know when you get there. 
Okay? Because this word does not say anything about rapture. So in true past, a lot of these United Churches and all of that who lying and using the name of Jesus Christ and the word of God because they twist it around, they turn it around, they decree curses upon you when you teach you're being blessed, the curse in your life. This is what they say of no nation, no greater and greater in this day because they're being deceived. So if they want to be deceived and they're found that it's going to be a great delusion. Their mind is going to be hypnotized because the left part of the brain is not strengthened through the word of God. The Holy Spirit got to strengthen the left side of your brain because the left side of your left frontal lobe in the area where your ears is, is where the, the weaker. That's why people are able to hypnotize and say, come on, volunteers, come up here. And when the volunteers go up, they say, eh. They will say, at the sound of my finger, you will be a chicken, croak. And everybody says, at the sound of my three tracks, you will come back to normal. And they come back to normal. And you say, girl, when you were calling up a chicken or girl, you look so foolish. I don't remember that. You see, that's all that hypnotized people. That's so in Acts chapter 8, Simon by Jesus. Simon by Jesus, I truly believe, his son was Judas Iscariot. And they're so long and adjusted by spirit because they're able to hypnotize you with teaching ears for things that you want to hear. Or, or, or you don't want to hear the truth because you can't handle the truth. Some of these so called pastors confront me, telling me, oh God, this father wanted to preach. I love my brother Penelope. But I tell you what, Father. A woman of God who built the first university of theology in Israel. A son of Sandy Von Deborah. The woman of God in the Bible in Romans chapter 16. Because of a woman named Julia, she was an apostle. She took the scroll and she put it between her legs like a rock, like a pound, like a cortex. And when they first tried to confine it, that's why we have the New Testament. But women, men, Wicked men of this time, wicked men want to say Junior was a man because they don't want to get glory. I said, thank God, like a woman gave us, she hid the scrolls that brother Paul, Apostle Paul, and she had a husband that was related to him. They were his kinfolk, husband and wife together, and brought on us to her husband. There was no same sex thing like now. These are wickedness and abomination that we talk to the church today. The same section, the, 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 the pastors who are gay and lesbian in the church and they're speaking, they can call to not include an abomination in the church. Wickedness in the church. All Jews in the church. Rituals in the church. All kind of satanic covenant oaths. Things that happen in the church that you don't know because you teach your pastors holy and you teach your pastor care about you, but he's harvest in you. All the, the pastor's doing is, is like a harvest. He's just growing you, feeding your lies, satanic prophecies, satanic ways about rapture. So when, when the Antichrist comes, the Antichrist is coming in peacefully, peacefully and properly, saying, I love you, and I came to rapture you away. But the word of God said in Matthew 24, they tell you he's in this chamber, don't go. If you tell you over here, don't go. They will hypnotize you. I said, Satan is Lucifer. Lucifer is coming as who? The Antichrist. Why do I say that? Because the word of God teaches it. Like in Isaiah 14 and Ezekiel 28, the only one who wanted to be Jesus is Lucifer. He wants to be God. He was created good, but he became vain. He became disrespectful because he had two keys. The keys to the gates of hell, to put anybody in hell, to open it up. He opened it up. He brought sin upon the world by having the angels come down and fornicate. A fornicator is a male. A woman is whore, but a male is a fornicator. And the fallen angels became fornicators. Because they came down there in mortal, having sex with mortal women, flesh and blood. And they taught them how to grow, draw, grow, 
cured marijuana, how to mix parasites, how to use it crystal, how to do enchantments. The fallen angels talk in witchcraft, voodoo. The fallen angels rape the woman, carry them away, kidnap it. The fallen angels started slavery because it is written in the book of Enoch. All these things that they taught are the consequence of those behaviors. It's what we're suffering now because the book of Genesis chapter 6 says, made of all and renowned, mean that the genes are still in the earth because when God commanded, I know how to put two of these flesh, he put two of these flesh upon the rock of every race, of every tribe, and every tree, and they have lied to you. They told you Adam and Eve is your mother and your father, and they told you they ate an apple, but it's a big lie, a deadly lie that they tell to little children. But if you go back to the book of Genesis chapter 1, and you read from, book, from verse 26 through 31, and then you go to Genesis chapter 2, and you read the first three verses, you will realize that the, all the prices was created on the sixth day. All the races, the, the manuscript talk about ethnos, ethnic people. We do not have Chinese DNA, except you have a grandmother or a grandfather who was Chinese that married into your blood. You, everybody does not have white genes, Native American genes, Panamanian, Puerto Rican, Jewish, everybody do not have those genes in the gene pool. You are what your family tree produces. Every tree produces of its own kind. A apple tree cannot produce figs. And a fig tree cannot give you pineapples. Remember that you have in your blood whatever gene is in your gene pool. And it takes two to create a human being. You have mitochondrial DNA, which is the mother, which was the woman that the fallen angels raped, kidnapped, and that's where we get the word rapture. Rape is rapture. Rape where God won't rape us. Geographical location. Port Glasgow, Scotland, where? In what building? The New York Castle. What was told to the year of 1830? A lie. A big lie. Because Satan is a liar and the father of all lies. And God does not go to witches. God does not deal with witches. God does not go to witches to give Christians any, any true prophecy. God does not go to Lucifer. I tell Lucifer, I tell you, tell that church this, I tell that people that. God does not deal in filth, in darkness. But God said the book is steel. You read it in the last chapter of the last book of the Bible. It is steel. It is steel. So everything else is a lie. It's a big fat lie. Because where it came from? From the Roman Catholic Church. Two Catholic priests, Edward Irvin and John Darby, used a little girl called Margaret McDonald to tell a lie. Lies. Lies. And people are believing the of the devil. That's why I'm here today to open up your spiritual eyes. Don't believe the lies of the devil. Trust God. Believe his word. Trust the truth. Look for the subject. I call the teacher in elementary school. And every every story got a subject. You go, you go, you go, we go read about Red Riding Hood? That's a subject, little Red Riding Hood. We go read about the three little piggies? The subject is the three little piggies. There's no infamous schism. Every chapter has a subject. Find the subject and you will know the truth. 16. And you brought me into the inner court, verse 16. Of the Lord's house, and behold, the door of the temple of the Lord between the porch and the altar. See, the porch and the altar. Ooh, you have been getting deeper. It's worse now because they don't get suspected the real altar and they gone up. They gone up to the upper altar. Right in the prison, right in God's feet. Where about smiles and twenty men with their backs turned to the temple? Five, twenty-five of them. Twenty-five males with their back turned to the temple of the Lord. And their face turned towards the east. What happened? 
Don't come up in the east and run under the sun worshippers. That's why you look for those symbols with the sun. Anytime you go see a cross with the sun, that's a Luciferian, that's a Supreme that's a sign of you know. Any time you see a symbol with a sun, behind the peak of a mountain, hey, Luminati, you know that that's a one word out of pastor. He will fall out to the devil. He will fall out to the devil. They are just in order. They are just in order. They are just in order. Beautiful, the choir thing. I don't care almost philosophy, almost sociology, almost psychology, almost when every person that has devil in the end of his own, he takes cross his finger, they say keyboards, bringing out messages into your mind. Which, you hear me? You, you see, the book goes in your mind. So I can control you, I manipulate you spiritually, I manipulate your life for what? One thing they have in mind. So you can bow down and worship the devil. So you can bow down and worship Lucifer. How do you find out who is the Antichrist? Read the book of Revelation chapter 12. Verse 9. Start from 1 and then you hit verse 9 and read it three times. One for the Father, one for the Son, and one for the Comforter. And ask God to open up the eyes. It is not a flesh and blood. Because demons can walk through the wall, they can walk on water, demons can fly to another country in the speed of the light. Flesh and blood cannot do those things. Flesh and blood can clap no hand and fire come down from heaven. I don't care how much magic you practice. You say you send thunder and lightning in my yard to scare me. And you send your little filthy little black ravens and crows to cuckoo And I went out there. And I stood up to your black bird and your black crow, Satan. And I threw rock salt on them. And I said, just watch in the days of Elijah. What is gone? Open up the heavens and pour out fire upon these birds. And I lift up my hand with a box of ice cream sea salt from the soul. Pour a light in oil on it. And I thought it, those birds that were coming out of the sun, it was in the fire. Those birds started wrecking up and knocking, they started wrecking into each other and they fell. Draw up and die, evil bird. I said, is the, is your fate? Come on, is your fate? To get to the fate walk, in a spiritual walk. We walk in all of those flesh and blood. This is so the God, your seed for, the rock for, the man of God, throw a mighty man on it. Go out there, they pass. I stand up and call on the fire of God. When I threw that up in the earth, I saw them, them birds, them was all blanket in my backyard. They were blanket upon two cars. They were blanket all in the front yard. And I went out there and stood up, and the neighbors ran in the house and screamed, I'm home. Because they said, the, the woman of God over there fighting the devil. And I stood up there and said, I'm fought them because I'm not afraid of the devil, just like that. But you know, I'm not afraid of the devil like that. Witches. Right here in the neighborhood, witches. Right next door, witches. 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 Because they don't want to hear the truth for the the God. They don't want to hear the truth. So what they do, they come in the night and sprinkle stuff by your door. Thinking that, oh, that's going to hit. I just take some seeds up to my mango, blood of Jesus. I am the salt of the earth. And without me, they hurt to lose its favor. Now, oh, Jesus, pass them with the salt. The children of God in the book of Samuel, Samuel, they fought a war in the valley of salt. Hallelujah. And God commanded the stars of the heaven to fight for them. He will fight for you. Take us and see who good God is. Get into the spiritual war. Make sure you are on the right side. Like old Moses said. Moses told the children when he came down from Sinai. He started committing all this. Lord and worshiper and his brother and a bill of golden calf. And Moses said, and who said he's to a who said you on? And some of them are on the cross to the right side where Moses was standing. In. And when Moses told Todd his story, he took that ten commandments and when he threw it, he burst into flame that golden calf. And the earth opened up and swallowed up. He swallowed them up for their adultery, swallowed them up for their fornication, and the orgies, and the double doing you might talk about every form of abominable sin that was up to the summer that was committed because of learning of stupid Egypt. 
in one hour. Those who do not come over the bomb, but they are blasting out by the people in the Louisiana. They are hopping up in New York now, they're crying. You see, they say that they deserve it, but I can feel you deserve it even more. Because you are not a harvest of here in New York. New York is wicked. Because when I was, when I first came to this country, I've never seen two women kissing in my life. So I went to work and I said, what is that? Two women in love? Then I said, it seemed like a blue heart. They cover their face, they put the thing over, they have to drop it in black. One man with three women in an apartment and they see a hand pointing at him and they say, what kind of lifestyle is this? Bruma, we trust and what is this going on? Moment, curse. If you think God can take his hand and boom, knock down the Brooklyn Bridge, he can knock it down. Wicked, he can send a tornado, he can send an earthquake and stick it in two. Because all of them cults up there, you know what I'm talking about. Cults. Cults. Satanic lodges. And you see us as black people when I first came in this country. Black people were the strongest Christians I could ever see. They could see, they could. What's went wrong? False doctrine. Oh no, you, you, you do this. You that. You the honor. Go back to your ancestors. Everything don't change now. And the same stuff. That you say you wasn't going to do, and you're eating up the same vomit. But the same people that enslaved your ancestors, then you're eating up your own vomit. Father God, in the name of Jesus, have mercy upon all your children and all the races in America. Have mercy upon us, because when God let you keep us, you the blood. You better be covered with the Holy Spirit. You see, time does not belong to us. We should have said tomorrow we're going to do this and go there and do that. Because time does not belong to you and me. We can't say let's go tomorrow and build a city. Because God holds the times in his hands. He holds the wheels and the four corners of this world. He got the whole world in his hand. But we don't want to let go and throw down a build up or establish or he has the power to do it. Okay, the politicians are not in charge. Your boy is not in charge. He's not in charge. He has to fulfill his destiny. And God can use anything, anytime, anywhere else to fulfill the destiny. This country is in trouble. The people of God is in trouble. The people who don't love God is in great danger. Have mercy, dear Lord, touch the hearts of each and every one of them. Touch their soul, touch their spirit, Lord. Breathe upon us with your power of your Holy Spirit right now. Oh, Father God, send your old truth, your knowledge, your wisdom to each and every one of us. I bless this word, bless this teaching that you show the prophet Ezekiel, all the wickedness that is happening in the church. And the pastors refuse to tell the people that the Antichrist is coming first. He's coming. He's going to take off your car. He's going to give you the desire of your heart. So guess what? You gotta give him a soul, you gotta worship him. And once you bow down to him, guess what? It's over. It's over for you. Bye bye. Straight to hell. In the pit. Father God, touch your word. And remember, bless your word. Bless to each and every one of them, Father God, that I listen to your word today. Empower them, teach them, strengthen them in Jesus' mighty name. And remember, receive faith in the name of Jesus. May the Lord bless you coming in and coming out. May he bless you in your basket. May he increase your business. You increase you with knowledge and wisdom and understanding in Jesus' mighty name. Be blessed, be encouraged in Jesus' mighty name. And remember, this is Dr. PJ. The Antichrist is the fake Jesus. He is coming, he's going to appear. The real Jesus does not appear. You will see the heavens open up and his army will be following him behind. He's coming to rule with the rod of iron and we're going straight into a thousand years of peace on the face of this earth. Because Satan and the fallen angels then, when they come in, in Revelation chapter 6, they're coming in being friendly, happy, doing fake mi miracles. So be prepared. Prepare your, your mind. Strengthen your mind. And remember what God say in his word. In Exodus 20. I'm going to read it. Exodus 20. It says... 
And God spake all these words saying, I am the Lord thy God, which have brought thee out of the land of Egypt, out of the house of bondage. Thou shalt have no other gods before me, thou shalt not make unto thee any graven image, any likeness of anything that is in heaven above, or that is in the earth beneath, or that is in the water under the earth, thou shalt not bow down thyself to them, nor serve them. For I, the Lord, thy God, am a jealous God, visiting the iniquity of the fathers upon the children unto the third and the fourth generation of those who hate me, and showing mercy unto thousands of them that love me, and keep my commandments. Amen. So if you bow down to at the sixth trumpet to the Antichrist, I'm sorry, you have broken the first commandment, you have committed idolatry, and you out of the kingdom forever, straight to hell with your fake Jesus, Lucifer. Be blessed. And be encouraged. And remember, I defeat you, Satan, in the name of Jesus. I defeat you, Satan, in the name of Jesus. I defeat you, Satan, in the name of Jesus.